the tannin really works well with spice. Congratulations, guys. You've really successfully picked a wine that tastes like absolute shit after that. So well done. That's yeah, really pleasant experience. We're this all about to have this together. This is a really... So, I went to Woolies this morning mm. and just rated a few things either on the specials rack or things that caught my eye as far as like everyday snacks that we can pair to wine. Some of you, uh, flavors that are interesting or things that you generally just have around um, cool. if you're feeling a little bit snacky to pair to wine. So we got Sarkar Tars. So we're starting with the Sarkar Tars. The seaweed <laughs> Sarkar Tars, which I think are probably pound for pound one of the best crackers. Whoa. On the market, a solid. I mean, look, nah, look. It does it beat? We've had this argument before. Now, look, viewers, viewers at home. <laughs> Rendo is a wonderful man. He knows how to make wine. He knows how to make gin. He knows how to run a business. Man does not know his thing around biscuits or I, snacks. I don't like biscuits. I don't like yeah. biscuits. He hates a biscuit. Insane. So just this, don't, is, don't, this isn't a biscuit. This is a cracker. It's a cracker. It's a bit different. So they're made with real seaweed, which is amazing. Gluten free. 97 calories per serve, and it, uh, one serving is deemed as three. Uh, 13 crackers. 13. Thank God. I reckon that's a road. That's a road. That's they, a they, solid they, snack. Yeah, yeah. That's a road. So, uh, so this I think cost me two bucks. Two bucks. Two dollars. Yeah, two bucks snack. Two bucks. Right. Right. This. Cool. Um, so, We're good. Good. dig in. And dig what in. do you reckon is the wine of choice for this? So, obviously, we're dealing with something that's got a lot of carbs. It's high okay. carb. Uh, it's got a bit of oil, a bit of fat. Umami is obviously going to be a big thing. Um, sugar, like there's a sweetness to it. Mm -hmm. It's actually the umami that I reckon anchors all of this, and that's where I go mm -hmm. orange wine. I go, okay. I go something like oxy, something that's got a bit of tannin to it. Um, we do have a bit of an orange wine. We do. Right here. That was literally not prepared for this. <laughs> we just had this poured out from before. We're right. currently drinking the, the I Love Monsters Skin Contact Vidicchio. Vidicchio. We've had this kicking around, so maybe we'll see how this pairs mm. with the, the seaweed sucker tarts. That's actually really it's good. It's actually a really good mash. There's a, there's a cool little veggie mighty sort of thing going on when those things pair together. That's annoying that that's worked out for you so well. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, you're, you're doing the next one. You're doing the next one. So the acidity of that really works well with the, the overall like carbiness of the cracker. But yeah. that tannin and that like extra element of orange wine works well with the seaweed. Hard hard. So to clarify what they're talking about is basically that like salty flavor in your mouth goes away when you have the wine. Yeah. Exactly. Really, yeah, really yeah. Good. <laughs> That's Once what I'm again, <laughs> the every man straight yeah. uh, So next time this is this okay, is a wee one. This is this one caught my eye out of its ridiculousness. <laughs> Doritos crackers. What flavour? Southern fried chicken. Oh, <laughs> Do you reckon this is gonna be that like traditional Nashville style Dorito? Do you reckon? And, it's gonna but be also more about this, it's more like New Orleans, New Orleans fried chicken. Fried we could win a PlayStation Five instantly right now, Jesus. which could be a, ma a massive moment for the, the history of this. Catch on camera as well would be but, sensational. You know, this is what looking at Southern fried chicken. So plenty of orange color to it. Um, oh, bit of, looking looking like a bit of pepper. Look at look at these look at these. They've got this stamp on them. Oh They've literally God. branded. On the cracker. The, these are actually just like a. a That's insane. This has an aesthetic, 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 aesthetic appeal. <laughs> they smell pretty good. <laughs> you can you can see where the money's gone awry. I don't mind these. Actually, cool. I mean, I wouldn't buy them. I mean, I would I would classify these as more a biscuit than a, than a cracker. Man doesn't like biscuits. <laughs> But it has that kind of chicken, like MSG yeah. flavoring kind oh. of thing. That every time I taste this, I think Chardonnay. I absolutely think Chardonnay. Well, I was about to jump. Every, yeah. every day. But the spice kind of throws it a bit out of whack. What about that oven? Oh, the Pinot Gris. Yeah, this actually so, might be good. And I, and I do wonder whether the, where it's, are the it's, Is it Lee's? Is it Lee's? And that's what we see with Chardonnay that tends to go really well with like chicken crimpies. And again, it's a carbohydrate thing. It's a very carbohydrate thing. But Pinot Gris has that sort of can handle that spice element. Yeah, I agree. I think that that could Texture. be a really interesting sort of angle. Do you want to do the honors? Yeah, I do like this over. <laughs> it's really good. It's this very, is what very we're pairing. good. Delicious. Yeah, I reckon it's going to be that that work, that lease, and that extra texture. Oh. Again, annoyingly, it's worked out very well. <laughs> is there anything that's like, what would be, why don't we turn this on its head? What would be a bad match? Let's see, let's intentionally screw this up. Would it be maybe 
this little red wine over here. This one here? Or that red wine there. Oh, the Vietti Barolo. Vietti Barolo and Southern Fried <laughs> Chicken this Doritos. Is absolute scum luck. This, right this is what we it's call premium no scum deal. So we've, no got, deal. so we've got a... So I don't think the tannin's gonna work well with this at all. I think it's just gonna bind terribly to the spiciness. Mm -hmm. That does go really well. Alright. Mm. Because sometimes it could just be like, we just love wine, so everything goes well with food. That's no, really well, boy. No. Has the tannin really works well with spice. Congratulations, guys! You've really successfully picked a wine that tastes like absolute shit after them. So well done. That's yeah, a really and, pleasant and this, experience and this we're all a, about to have This together. is a brilliant fucking <laughs> wine. That's a lovely, this lovely is a wine. Brilliant wine. <laughs> Not built for these. Don't have these together. It ruins the wine. Oh my god. <laughs> and it ruins. That's what bad looks like. And it ruins the Dorito. Not the practice. wine, just the pairing. Let's start with Ooh. a absolute South Australian icon. Mm. Fruit the shocks. Fruit shocks. The humble fruit shock. Oh, this Abs is an interesting one. Absolute, one of my absolute go-to um, chocolates. Mm. Like going to the movies, fruit shocks. Wow. These okay. are so tasty. These are addictive. Yeah, no, nah, anyway, why? Let's just The wild. quality of the chocolate's really good too. What do you recommend? What, what, what do well, I? Well, you're have? a fruit shock expert. I'm a big fruit shock expert. Um, I need something, I need a soft red with this. Cool. Um, you know? Parting. It's more Merlot territory. So this is Norello Mascalese. Yeah. Yep. From the northern slopes of Mount Etna in Brachi. Oh, awesome wine. Awesome yep. wine and really affordable too. So S Super mineral, super lean. Mm. And yeah, you're right. Affordable is a big one for Norello because it's also going to get really expensive. I reckon Pinot is probably the pairing for this. Like something bunchy, but still a bit brambly, like an Adelaide Hills kind of thing. Nothing too serious. Now, you see, it lifts it. It's got really high ash. I think yeah, that... The, I problem, think, the problem is the tannin, I reckon. Yeah. I think that this is a wine before chocolate, not a chocolate before wine deal. Call me crazy, but I think you go the wine first, then the chocolate. As soon as the tannin goes away, it's a great, it's a great pairing. Mm. So for the first time today, we've not just absolutely gone lucky and found a wine within yeah. arm's reach that pairs yeah, perfectly. Yeah, exactly. We, we've got we've got stuff lying around, but we don't have everything available. No, yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, this is one that has sparked so much debate about what the fuck is actually in this. Mm. Yeah, um, Cadbury caramel milk, which is like I have no right? idea what this, I have no idea what this is. Like, so, if someone could explain to me what this is. Is it a white chocolate or a milk chocolate? Well, I think it's a caramel chocolate. It's caramel a, milk. A it's golden just... blend of caramelized white chocolate. Mm. Right. Yeah, so so it's white very... chocolate that they've left on the stove too long. It's but, basically golden syrup. But white chocolate's not chocolate, is it? Sorry, it's just No, like, no, you're it, right. White chocolate's not chocolate. No, it doesn't have any co co cocoa, no. cacao in it. So this technically isn't chocolate. It's caramel. It's caramelized milk. Well, it says it right there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, I found it out. Alright, so uh, this has been all the rage. Obviously, it was released by Cadbury quite some time ago and it flew off the shelves and then it was like, like they didn't make any more of it. And then it came back and people bought this quicker than they were buying toilet paper. Yeah. You know, <laughs> it was flying. It's it was and now it's formally back because they realised, I suppose, they can make a ton of money out of it. Um, it's an interesting flavour. Like, oh, it's a really interesting I, flavor. like looking at the literal design of the, the brick itself. I like it. Bang. Can't even slide this across the table. Um, I'm thinking got? like fortified territory, hey. Oh, some like Pedro Jimenez. Mm. Mm. Like double down on the on the gluttony and go for something high sugar. Mm. Yeah, I think pour over the top of it, give it a bit like because that is that feels like with me with white chocolate, I just get straight sugar. I don't get much yeah. other flavour. So if you then gave it some like real richness to it. Like a ruby port. Like a, mm. like a ruby, mm. like a, a, a light maturation. Something that your dad's got in a big barrel. Yeah, 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 yeah. On your kitchen counter. Totally, totally. Yeah. Another good one would be like a sweet Oloroso and get something that's nutty. Yeah, and true, true, floor, true, that would true, true. Provide a little bit more uh, interest and intrigue. Unfortunately, we don't have any fortifieds here. Um, well, no, cool. thank you very much. And hopefully this gets you thinking about drinking wine while you're snacking. Why you're snacking? Why you're snacking. Why Definitely, snacking. and uh, I think key takeaway so far from today's tasting: uh, not a lot of tannin, 
Uh, spicy, slight spicy. Maybe look at something that's got a bit of skin contact or leaves work. These are kind of dope. Chardonnay, Pinot Green yeah. Territory. Yeah, I reckon in all of these cases, leaves. Leaves. Texture. texture. Texture is everything. Texture. Till next week. Sarko, Sarko. See you guys.